Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borek and this is another episode of Osiris New Dawn, the architect update. Unfortunately my game seems to be bugged because every time I log in I got all the structures, all the old structures that I've built over here. I remember last time we built uh, the part of the habitat as well as barracks that are hovering above uh, planet's surface and unfortunately I still have those structures that I actually took apart and every time I log in I get those structures hmm so that is really quite interesting <clears throat> nevertheless at least I can show you guys how my pressurized uh, things do work or actually do not work uh, well actually don't I don't because I don't have mats but still that is really really not cool because as you can see I have walls going inside and outside but I'm not gonna be taking all that apart because well actually it's a <clears throat> some sort of a cheating because every time I do that I get the free mats well anyway of course that's good <clears throat> because I can destroy this structure and get materials back do I yeah look at that huh yeah, so unfortunately it is a bug of, of some sort, but well, at least I can get some mm, stuff back. Nevertheless, in today's episode what we're going to be doing is building vehicles, uh, because well, the, the hover bike is uh, cool, but it's not the only vehicle that we can uh, travel in the Osiris. So we're going to be looking into Rover, GAV, and probably probably uh, the spaceship as well because unfortunately I don't think that we can build a hover bike as you can see mecha crap I don't think I can build it yet but uh, umpa umpa Osiris uh, mission personal assistant Josh is not going to be joining us well maybe if I get 50 Azurin well maybe that might work I have absolutely no idea but the spaceship is a thing that we can do uh, this we cannot do because I don't have Azurin and I don't know where to find it. Rover definitely is because I have diamonds, GAV and hoverbike we have. So let me just get all the stuff needed and then I'll get back to you. Alright, so it actually took me a while to gather all the necessary um, resources. Well, maybe not gather but take them from the storage and bring it over here because I had to, I had to head all the stuff with me while I'll be doing building so we do not cut anymore. Okay, so let's get back to business and first of all let's make the rover because well I know that this is slowest uh, class of a vehicle but yeah let's go with that. What do I do next? Press F? Yeah, press F and then build the object. So let's see if the rover changed a bit, if it can climb, holy fuck it is big as hell and it requires hydrazine as well as a source of fuel but we can board it and god damn it it is big whoa dude it's not that slow i was expecting it to be slow as hell uh, i cannot see goddamn thing while sitting in it but it looks it, it goes actually quite awesome because I was, I think it was much slower in the previous versions of the game. Boom, bada bim, bada boom. But look at that, it actually goes 75 kilometers per hour. And I was thinking if it can handle the spice worm that it's gonna appear all of a sudden somewhere around here. But if I don't stop, it will definitely eat my ass. Well, there it is, somewhere. Yeah, look at that. It emerges from underground. But we can easily escape it. Wow. Nice! I'm pretty surprised. So going uh, going somewhere to get necessary ingredients, especially that we have inventory over here. Because what I'm lacking in this game nowadays is some sort of a tanker vehicle. Uh, a vehicle that you can go to those geysers and hook it up to the geyser and collect uh, gases into the tanker like with shitloads of volume. Because actually, oh shit, those uh, gas tanks that we have available does not take that much gas in it. Especially when you need shitloads more to produce few uh, plastics, especially well, the hydrogen. And hydrogen basically used for everything. And don't tell me that now I won't be able to go back. Well, it handles relatively strange. Wheels seems to be not 
connected with the rover itself, but I have absolutely no idea how the hell am I supposed to get up now. I think there is a way somewhere over there, but... I think I prefer hover bike instead, because it can easily take that hill. Come on, come on, little rover will actually you're not that little. Oh, that was quite of a trip. So I do like hover bike because it can actually uh, climb almost vertical, uh, vertical walls. But still, since we have uh, this rover now available to us, I might actually use it to go and grab uh, a thing or two. Right, okay, so that's done. The rover is done, so now let's see the GAV, if it has changed a bit. Build vehicle, GAV. Five diamonds, and that should be it. And now... We will build a awesome shooting vehicle. Yes, baby, look at that. Oh, come on, get out. And it even have some lights, some ELD lights. And, uh, and it does have inventory. Though that inventory over here, as you can see, that's just two space. Man, that is not that much. But it looks so powerful. It looks really, really awesome. Okay, so let's board the vehicle. Ooh, now we got the inside. Did I, did we got like inside always? Can I like view things? Strafe or something? Is there any key to do that? I don't think so. Like to move ahead, like I do that over here. And we have a weapon. So let's go downstairs and let's see those young snubs. Oh shit. I'm sorry. What the hell is going on? Come on, where's the front and where's the back of the vehicle? So, close to my location. I can hear some snobs. Uh, close to my location, there is a lithium deposit. As well as those snobs. I don't know. Oh, they can hurt my vehicle. Son of a gun. As you can see, that crater over here with loads of lithium all around. Do I get like... Can I destroy it? I don't think so. Uh, and I'm not getting any combat experience. At least from what, what I could see. Shooting with the mounted cannon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy that I got out. Stop. Stop. I don't know what I'm pressing. I wish I could destroy this thing jig. I don't know if I can. I mean the volcano. No, I'm just getting player experience and not getting any combat experience. That sucks a bit, but still not that big of a deal. Oh, there you are. I knew I've heard you somewhere. So, all to all, JV handles much better than the rover. It, I think it sticks more to the planet's surface than uh, the rover itself. Mm, that was a bit too jumpy for me i don't know how if we can go like on the vertical slopes the throttle pedal of course is not helping because it works like zero one shit but all to all yeah jv is a really great vehicle it goes quite fast let's check the top speed without Acceleration, so that's 86 versus 75 of the rover with, of course, no, there is no shift button to accelerate. I wonder if I can, because usually I'm using this slope with my hover bike to get on top. Do you see the engine stops when I'm at a certain... Uh, uh, Come on, maybe, maybe over here. Nope, nope. Ah, 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 shit. Alrighty, so that sucks. I guess I need to find another way back home, and then we will build a spaceship. And of course, with ease, we can outrun the space worm that will appear again somewhere. So that's gonna be second time. Into this episode, and I can shoot his ass. 
I wonder if you can actually kill those suckers. They are so majestic though. I don't think so. I don't think they are killable if there's even if there's even a word for that. But okay, fair enough. Let's go on top. On top. Come on, Rover made it and you can't. This is really silly. Be right back. Alright, so I finally made it back home and all to all, well, that Javier is not so hot. Uh, except for the cannon that it has, mm, no. So still my favorite is the hover bike. Uh, it doesn't have any inventory, it doesn't have any gun, but at least it can move and it can move in numbers. Well, I mean speed. So last but not least is going to be building a spaceship, a space vehicle. I don't know if that's going to be big as vehicle or not but let's build it and let's see if we can go into space and maybe even find Azurin probably we can't and it's still as big as fuck god damn it fortunately it does have inventory uh, how actually my stats are doing not so bad not so bad at all so as you can see it takes like half of my screen and we can just mount it oh and we have inside as well I have absolutely no idea who should. I completely forgot how I am supposed to steer this goddamn thing. Oh yeah, left click, hover, and then go, and then backwards, and off we go. We can of course travel around the planet with amazing speed of 300 kilometers per hour to check out. Yeah, there's a space spice worm. Ooh, see you later, sucker. It is loud as hell and I'm terribly sorry about that. But when we go into space, it's gonna be definitely much better. So I don't know if you have seen that, but there is no map uh, for the GAV. The map that you can now see in the top right corner that we can also see in the hover bike. I did not notice if that is also in if we can see the map while driving rover but still now oh, i cannot see shit on that map probably because we are moving way too fast but i'm wondering what the hell is that is it like another refinery how do i slow down am i slowing down right now yes i am so we can actually land around here to check out what the hell is this thing Refinery! Oh, there's another refinery over here! That's nice. Those steering with this big ass ship is not that easy. So let me just land around here somewhere and turn off this loud as fuck engine. I don't know if I will be able, if there's gonna be enough flat surface to land this bad boy. Oh! I'm terribly sorry, guys, about those sounds but look at that it isn't it even have some tanks over here okay so that's the first time i'm here that's good <laughs> i did not knew if there are any locations uh, that still remain a mystery to me but as you can see it does so we can have another base over here like have some fun unfortunately we don't uh I think it is actually no it's much smaller but amount of crates probably is the same here's some water so let's drink it let's eat some carrot just because we can and let's go further let's go actually into space uh, board a vehicle so it's much what the fuck was that just for a second, I thought that I've destroyed somehow the fighter. Speed up to exit the atmosphere. Yes, we are speeding up. So off we go into space. Ah, <sighs> much more quiet. Okay, so let's see if that belt of asteroids can yield us. Because I. What a beautiful music. What a beautiful music. Is that Azurin? Where's Azurin? Hello? Azurin? Where are you? 
There you are, Blue Planet. We'll go there in the next episode. Don't worry about that. But first I just want to check those asteroids because I remember back in the days we were able to mine we were able to mine um, Azurian? Azurian? The crystals needed to make Umpa Umpa Osiris personal assistant aka Josh. Yes, that's the plan. So let's go closer to the one of those asteroids and it makes you wonder why we have throttle on if and we are moving like 160 uh, 170 kilometers per hour uh, so that is not much especially that we were able to uh, fly with total ground speed of uh, 300 uh, kilometers per hour on the planet's surface okay let me just stop the vehicle and let's leave and enjoy majesty what I can't even go out what the fuck well fortunately the ship doesn't seem to be using any fuel whatsoever so that is good news but what the hell I can't even go out man that sucks cannot access manual in vehicle well I would like to leave especially that I have that I have this thing on me uh, like the space suit but what the hell okay on that note I guess we are going we are going to Azurin to check it out mm, I don't know if my game will save over there but let's travel to Azurin and let's see what it has to offer alrighty so here we are close to the surface so let's speed up. Why do I need to speed up to go into atmosphere? I don't know. But let's enter the planet. I am terribly sorry about the noise, guys. And now let's reduce the speed right away. And let's try to hover at a position. Zero, zero. If possible. I don't know what position we're going to be landing on. I guess that's not zero zero. Let's try and find some gazers that they there are. And maybe land somewhere over here. Just you know, to have a look at what we can find. Here there are some rocks. That shelf looks really promising. Am I like landing right now? Let's go in here because that's much more quiet, but I don't see shit. Okay. Are we landing? Hello? Yeah, we are going down. You can see some notes over there. Me. Ah. So here we are. Azael. Base metal. Oh, nice. So we can gather base metals as well. So here we are. Azael, not Azurin. Uh, the temperature is low as fuck over here. We have some gases. I don't remember back in the days that if we had some gases. Probably not. But first look at Azael. Third moon. No. Uh, Tissus Prime. No. What? Osiris. No. Osiris was the mission. So the planet was Proteus 2, the third moon of some other planet. But nevertheless, now we are at Zyl. I used to build on the surface of this planet and it was rel relatively cool. Uh, I was building somewhere in the canyon where you can see those rocks standing out. But let's see what does map say. I don't see any red dots. And unfortunately, we cannot take hover bike with us. I mean, in the spaceship. So that kind of a suck. But still, we are here. And we have built the awesome and majestic spaceship. That looks quite fantastic, don't you think? Well, all the vehicles are really uh, cool. Especially that every single one of them has a purpose. Uh, such as this one transports you to another planet. 
uh, of course um, hover bike transports you on the surface on the planet's surface GA view can kill stuff and rover can hold you loads and loads of uh, resources so you can advance furthermore in the game so guys on that note that we have came to Azile and claimed it well actually we haven't because I have not built any flags so that was stupid of me nitrogen uh, but I think I have already unlocked that those flags yeah so let me just see what do I need to build it probably shit loads of stuff yeah like over here uh, plastic and aluminum ingot well aluminum ingots is not gonna be an issue but and I don't know why I cannot have like mm, forge that I can install over here I have a freaking space engine over here so it's much better than a forge well nevertheless uh, on that note guys I think we're gonna wrap up this episode I hope you enjoyed it if you did, remember to leave a like, comment whether you can please subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like what you see. And I hope that we'll see each other in the next episode, where we will continue to freeze our ass off because over there it's minus 124 degrees. I don't know if that's Celsius or not. Yeah, that's Celsius. So that's it for today. See you later next time. Take care then and bye-bye now. See you later.